Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to get a query into an Excel file for CDR DAC. First you want to make sure that you're on a command line. Type the command word query WRKQRY then press enter. I'm making a change to an existing query so I'm going to take option 2 to change. I'm going to locate the query that I want to make the change to in the library that it's located in. Then I'm going to press enter. There are so many different changes you can make to a query, however, I'm just going to show you how to output it to a file today. I'm going to tab down below to select output type and output form and place a 1 next to it. Then I'm going to press enter. I'm going to make sure my output type is a 3 for a database file. Then press enter. This is going to be your file name. It can be anything you want it to be. And this will be the library that the file will be located in. I'm going to press enter. Once you make your necessary changes to your query, you can hit F3 to run and save your query. You want to make sure that your save definition is a Y for yes. Your run option is a 1 for run interactively. I'm going to press enter. Down below you'll see your file that you created, the library that it was saved to, and that it was replaced. Once your query is finished running, you can go to your top toolbar and select Actions, Data Transfer from IBMI. If you don't see this option, you're more than likely on the older version of Client Access, and you'll need to update to Access Client Solutions. You can go ahead and uh, look at the helpful video that we have that will get you started on that. This box will pop up. This is going to be your AS400's internal IP address. Your file name will be your library slash the file that you created. You want to make sure that you have a blank Excel document open for this because down below the output device you'll select Active Excel Spreadsheet. Select Details, Column Headings. This will just ensure any headings in your query will then transfer over to your Excel file. And press OK. Now you can press Start Transfer. This box will pop up. This is just your DAC credentials so you'll log in like you normally would. Shortly after you log in, you should see the data populate into your Excel document. Thank you so much for watching.